But the bosses in the security council say, you shall never have the powers that we have as permanent members. And we have asked and asked and asked. And asked and asked. Reform, reform the security council. tell you, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, you are a good man. You are a good man. But of course, we can't make you a fighter. That's not what your mission was. We will fight a fight for our own identity, for our own integrity and personality as Africans. We are Africans. If we decide, as we shall certainly do so, one of these days, that down within the United Nations, we are not members of it, others are real members of it, we are artificial members of it, <laughs> and we, we can't continue to be artificial members of it. How can only a handful of people, in fact it's only America and the Europeans, those who say they are white skinned, because they are white-skinned, anybody else who is not like us shall not have the power and strength, integrity that we have. If the United Nations is to survive, we must be equal members of it. Me equal members, members who can, who can say when we go to the body that we are now speaking truly as members with a voice that's understood, respected and honored. But no, that's not it. We met in Swaziland some years back to discuss the reform of the United Nations, especially the Security Council. And we came up with Kwasulwini consensus. We have said we want two permanent, permanent members with a veto, if the veto is, is to continue, although we don't like that creature called the veto. But if it's the veto is to be retained, those members must also have the veto. If the veto is to be abolished, fine. They shall be like others. But no, two members, 54 countries here. Yeah. This is the body the body of respected people, the body of Africa. So I wonder whether you have told them that we also are humans. <laughs> tell them, tell them that we are not ghosts, that we also belong to the world. And the world called, part of the world called Africa. And Africans shall no longer tolerate a position of slavery.
slavery by any other name, by denial of right, slavery by being treated in a manner we regard as not equal to the manner in which they treat themselves. We, I hope, you will hear from us on this issue of the reform of the United Nations. But you have done a good job for us you have visited our countries, you have wept with us where disease has visited us, whether it was Ebola or some other, where calamities have occurred, where fights have taken